I say DI Harley after my first year on the road. So I had a CB500 twin, which was my first bike. Just didn't really like, it was beautiful. It looked really good, but ran like shit. So didn't end up riding that my first year. I ended up riding Jay's CB750, which is not exactly a starter bike, but it was like really good to have all my firsts on and really, really good to learn on. I think I kept the bike stock for maybe two months and then just took it, took it apart. The first version of my bike we did was a swinger mounted fender. Doing that version of the bike was like a big learning process. And that was two winters ago. So I bought my hardtail. I got it from Mike at 47 Industries down in Raritan. And he let me use his shop and his welder to put it on, which was by far one of the coolest shop experiences I've had so far. I mean, we've got a welder that's great, but like his welder that's supposed to be running eight hours a day, all day, is completely different from what we have. I am really happy to say that most of the marks on this bike are by me, but I've gotten so much help from other people. Cal and Ben and Joe at Retrofit, they did my sissy bar, and that was super fun, awesome night. They've seen this bike through the whole process. And then, of course, Jay was huge. I mean, he had already done this before. He had already put an, a hardtail on his iron head, gone through tons of mistakes, tons of fuck-ups, and it just made sense that we would do it together because I didn't want to make the same mistakes that he did. I mean, I've always liked to do the things that I'm not really supposed to do. So part of that is doing things that aren't really conventional for girls and big machinery and welding and sculpture was all kind of part of that. So when I was in college, I knew that I wanted to take a sculpture class. It was awesome. I mean, I learned how to MIG and it was great. I think that welding is probably one of my favorite parts of anything about this bike. It's just that I get to weld. And I'm not very good, but I really enjoy it. <laughs> And like some of the welds on here are super, super shitty, but they hold it together and they're my welds. And <laughs> I mean, it's my own mistakes and I like seeing that it's my work on there. So the bike turned out nothing like I thought it was going to. I have so many photos on my desktop of bikes that don't look anything like this. And yet those are my inspiration. It all just kind of piggybacked on top of each other. I mean, the paint alone, it's kind of what you would see on um, Pimp My Ride. It's like the same paint that Exhibit would use on the insides of cars. But I think it would look cool on a bike. So I did it twice. I have to do it another time this winter because I chipped it. But I think it came out kind of funky, actually like really funky. It brings the funk every time I ride it. And I like that in a, I like that in a bike. I think it's really cool that there's a lot more girls who are on the road now. I think that for the girls who do it because they crave adventure and they have a lot of curiosity about it, they like going fast, I think those are like all the right reasons. I don't, I don't like to see girls who, you know, buy a helmet and take a photo with it and then that's it. And like they don't ever ride their bikes and their bike just sits in the garage. I mean, it's none of my business, but I think the, my respect really comes to the girls who put the miles on their bike and take these trips and know about their bike. And that's what I want to see more of. I want to see the girls who have the bikes in the garage, pull them out and really get on the road and, and use it. All in all, like at the end of the day, I'm really, really happy to be able to say that I have done the majority of the welding, the majority of the work, but all my friends have like a little piece in it where it has all helped. This for me was more that I wanted to ride my own mark on the road. I mean, a stock bike is great. Like I have the stock CD and I love it and I don't want to change anything about it. But riding a chopper that I made feels right to me.